All right, welcome back to Fishing with Faith Outdoors. There's Nick again. And we've got Timmy, my brother, on camera <laughs> with his little frog. Go bust them, man. He got a, what, about a five, no, about a four pounder out of here. I post that picture. And we're at a private lake pond. And we'll see if we can't whack them. Calm conditions. There ain't no jacks in this pond, Nick. Yeah, <clears throat> Be all right. But there are some big bass in here. We know from past catches. All right, looks like it's gonna be a wacky rig and a, a wacky rig and a jig for me today. Give it a shot. Bright colors, I'm gonna change this color out to a green pumpkin. What you gonna go with, Nickaroo? Heck yeah, old Berkeley Gilly. Just throw it out there and swim it back real slow, man. I've, I've caught a six pound bass off one of those. I caught a six pound bass off one of those. Take and hook it through the side. Yeah. <clears throat> All right, so I got my gear set up. Got my weedless rack, wacky rig. All right, got that on Shimano Nazca with a um, Fenwick um, medium fast action rod. Then I got my balling out jig by Buckeye Lures and net baits. It's got the bait fuel in the net baits. They're new baits they're coming out with. It's got the bait fuel stuff in it and it's got scent. The scent's supposed to help them um, <clears throat> hang on to the lures and all, but I don't know. I like their T-Mac worms. Uh, shaky head worms or straight tail worms. All right, we'll just poke that through like that right there. I got that on my medium heavy 13 fishing blackout with a ST XLX Shimano SLX XT um, seven uh, seven two to one gear ratio. Good gear, love this gear. So <clears throat> we're gonna go over here to our little spot. There's some wood down here. I'm gonna try there first and. Oh, by the way, this is our lunch break series. So yesterday, uh, the other day, I made a video and just testing out the camera I got here. It's Asco, I think it's Asco or something. Asco. It's like the knockoff of the GoPros. <clears throat> so far, it's really good video quality, and just testing it out the other day. But this is our pond series I'm going to do we do during lunch so about twice a week I'll do a video if I can of a pond series of bass being caught during lunch breaks so we'll see how this goes I'll be fun I've been been catching a lot of bass on my lunch breaks at these ponds around the shop where I work and uh just now able to get a video camera to be able to film them so hoorah hoorah the grass has died off so that means these bass should be pulling the some kind of hard structure wood rock that kind of thing <clears throat> so yeah i just see one I just seen one right here up shallow. The water level is pretty high. So we're going to try the wacky rig of the bass right there. Let's see if we can't get it on a wacky rig. Basically with wacky rig. <coughs> just throw it out there around the target. Let it sink to the bottom, then when it hits bottom, 
Just bump it off the bottom a few times, let it fall, and if they don't hit it, recast. You can work it back to the bank if you want to, but um, just throw it out there and And if they don't hit it on that initial fall the first time or the second time, I'll just reel it back in and recast. And it's a, it's a calm day. Uh, this is the VMC. Yeah, I just saw a squirrel, right? It's a calm day, so wacky rig will be ideal for a calm day. A little bit of wind, but just the VMC, Nico, wacky rig hook. Love them hooks. They seem to have a really good hookup ratio. Haven't had no issues with them. I seen a bass right there, so I'm just gonna try right here where there's a little bit of grass. My jig will get hung up in that grass and clump up and. Try on the other side. <clears throat> was, gonna, was gonna run a shaky head, um, but I don't throw a wacky rig as much as I should. So, <clears throat> wacky rig. I've caught some fish on the wacky rig. It is a fun bite. A lot of money in Bass Pro tournaments. Bass tournaments been won on wacky rigs. It's a very effective bait. I just don't fish as much. It's a slow presentation, but around the right cover and and um, you know tossing around these trees and and stuff, man, it's killer bait. Grass lines, we'll see what happens here. I do love my shaky head. I do love my shaky head. I catch a lot of fish on the shaky head. And I didn't bring another worm with me. Hopefully this one. I got those <clears throat> O-rings and I double them up. Then I hook it. I have to show you that in the video one day. I hook it in such a way that it, it, it uh, makes the bait last longer. So if I lose this worm, I'm not going to get another one. I forgot to bring one with me. You fell in the pond. My brother said he fell in the pond. What the heck? You can't work it back to you. Just do it like a Texas rig. You know, just throw that leg, hit the bottom. Then when it hits the bottom, just raise it up back to the bank with you. <clears throat> if you want to, you don't have to do it like that, but you never know, just bump it off, hop it back. He did fall in the pond. Why's your leg wet? <laughs> What'd you do that for? Yeah. Yeah, there it is. All right, boy. Oh, dang, he got off. That don't count. They didn't get it on the bank, but there it is. There it is. Old wacky rig, man. Dang it. Man, I mean, loosen that drag up a little bit. Yes, kids, check your drag. That, ain't, that drag ain't too bad. I don't want it too loose to set the drag and, you know, try to set the hook.
I seen it. I seen them. So you gotta watch your line. I seen my line move. Okay. All right. I saw my line move. Then I seen it bump. You know, because I had to try to keep some slack in your line when you're doing this. And I seen it move. And then I seen it kind of hop. And okay, that was a fish. So, and I showed up when I gave it, <clears throat> reeled up my slack. There he was. And, uh, I was trying to give him the business, but obviously I didn't get him in his mouth too good. So, but, uh, that's the first one I've lost on this, on this, uh, hook. So, but we're going to do one more cast right here, and then we're going to go. Let's get that jig. Got, <clears throat> I only get 45 minutes to fish on my lunch break before I have to be back at work. It's like pff, five minutes down the road. To my job. Work for my dad as <clears throat> he owns a welding business. Me and my brothers taking over my weld business, his welding business, and the luxuries of working with family. It can be a headache, and it can be fun. Depends on the day, <laughs> but generally it's fun, and we have a good time. And just uh, <clears throat> the economy and everything right now is making it really tough for everybody. And we're not going to get on that subject because that will just make me mad. <clears throat> and uh, But the Lord's coming back. God's coming back. Or Jesus is coming back. So we ain't got to worry about it too much longer. I just enjoy doing this fishing that he had created and allowed us to enjoy to do. And let him deal with the rest. All right, one more cast of the wacky rig. Right up here. Let's see if there's anything laid up in there. that jig over in this area I'm gonna throw the wacky rig more this year <clears throat> simply because especially when it's getting colder like this um, or when it starts really cooling off it's a more settled presentation, slower fall, and on, especially on these high bodies, uh, high pressure bodies of water. Like this pond here gets a lot of pressure because a lot of people, um, I won't say a lot of people, just me and my brothers and, and the guy that owns it, his cousin, we fish here a lot because it's close to work. But even that could present heavy pressure to a pond. <clears throat> and they will get conditioned to certain things so just have to we got other spots we can fish <clears throat> so we try to we try to shake it up a little bit all right it's time for the jig let's see what old jiggy can do i'll try to throw it way out there oh yeah love this reels man shimano xl SL SLX XT awesome reel awesome reel I caught that one on a wacky rig but it got off right over here right in front of you yeah throw yeah throw right in there did you they probably pushed bait up in there we got a friend of ours well co-worker friend of ours too she um, she called her a nice five pounder out of here uh, the other week and I'll put a picture of that one up 
Thought I got a bite, that was a stick. I can download videos from this camera to my phone and they ate the battery up. I thought it charged. I had it on charge, but I forgot that I was charging it while the battery was, or while it was, um, using the Wi-Fi. So it's got like a built-in Wi-Fi that goes to your phone and you can download the videos. We can't get one here before the battery dies. So if my battery dies, <clears throat> if my battery dies, appreciate y'all watching the videos. Um, I was going to end it, but I'll just wait. If it dies, then that'll just be the ending. <coughs> I hate to cut it off and then I get a bite. <laughs> so basically, I'm working this jig like a Texas rig, throwing it out there, dragging it, hopping it. And I feel like I got a bite just then. So mimicking, you know, some kind of crayfish, you know, anything crawling on the bottom is what a jig represents. Mainly a crayfish. You can swim it too. And it looked like a brim or something in the water. But. I got swim jigs for that, which I can use this to do that. I've caught them doing that. Oop, what was that? Okay, that was a stick. <laughs> it felt like a bump. <clears throat> but <clears throat> generally, I drag them and hop them in jigs. And a lot of people are like, well, I don't catch fish on jigs. Well, it's one of them baits. It's not like a, it is like a Texas rig. The only difference is it, it, the weight's built on it. And it's profile and the way you put a crawl style trailer on there. Um, it gets, the bites it get is bigger than average. So you notice on a worm or a lizard, you get all kinds of size fish. Now I'm not saying the jig doesn't do that, but a jig will generally get bigger fish bites than an average Texas rig. <clears throat> just because for whatever reason it just does I can't answer that one it just gets bigger and vicious more vicious bites I mean they really hit this thing they hit a they hit a darn jig it's like thump I very very seldom have one hit it soft unless it's a really big fish and they're just sucking in but on a Texas rig they'll just thump it real softly Sometimes, sometimes they hit it hard. But on a jig, man, you can really feel that thump. <clears throat> they eat it. I love a jig. And um, according to popular demand, or not demand, but the popular say so, this is the time of year to be throwing a jig. Just fall, fall, all the way through. Yeah! Yo! Uh oh. <laughs> Timmy, get one? What'd you get it on? Alright, we gotta go over here. We gotta run. What are you catching on? What's swim bait? Huh? Heck yeah, there's Allie. What's up, Allie? You're on YouTube, Leroy. <laughs> Look at this big daddy I caught. Oh, oh, heck yeah, that's that new what one. That? Check it here. What is it? That is the uh, six cents um, rattle trap. Lipless crankbait. He's chewing on my finger. I can't breathe. Yeah, yeah. Dang. Heck yeah, bro. How much you think that weighs? That's a two pounder. Ain't as big as the other one I caught? No. That's a two pounder all day. Right, it could be pushing three. Heck yeah. Dang. I'm about. Yeah, boy. Heck yeah. 
What did you uh? What was you doing when you caught that one? Just saw, curious. He jumped over here first, and he jumped in front of Nick. And he jumped right there, and I threw my little right dead on top of him as soon as it hit the water. Oh heck yeah! So they're chasing bait. Keep throwing it. See that that one slow sinks. So you stop it, it'll shimmy down real slow. He was right on top of the water when I threw it. Right yeah. When it hit the top of the water. See that wind's picked up, and it's and they're chasing bait. He was he was just over here. He yeah. He went over here. Dang, Allie. Hmm. Woo. I can't breathe. You look like Let's try the wacky rig. Look, that's a brand new rig. That's brand new. That means it's time to go. Time to go? Yep. Right, yeah. A couple more casts. I'll let Allie cast that one. Allie caught a five pounder out of here on the shaky head. Yeah. I want my reel back. You're going to like that one. That rascal right there is nice. <laughs> Huh? I broke my frog off, so I changed it. This Where's way. the frog at? It's in that tree over there. <laughs> I fell in the pond trying to get it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Hey, we, what do you think about that reel? I like, I like this reel. That's that Shimano SLX XT. That's a six tier. Reel it. Reel it. Reel it. Don't be scared. You got to reel that one. Doug is smooth, ain't it? That's the six two gear ratio. Or six to five gear ratio. That uh, that lipless, that rattle trap hit. That rattle trap bite's a good bite in it. They hit. They got a rattle in it. Yeah, shake it. They hit the fire out of that thing. Dang right. Heck yeah. All my peeps. Number two, come on. Ain't no fish in here, ain't no fish in here. You get the right bait, the right presentation, they'll bite it, man. Allie, you throw that out, you let it sink to the bottom, then you just bump it back to you real slow and let it fall. Surprised the uh, camera ain't died yet, which is good. Well good, I'm glad I'm glad bro's getting some bites, man. Huh? I've been started a year ago. I got YouTube too. I started a year ago. You're going to want to subscribe to it. Yes, y'all like and subscribe to these videos, please. You're going to have to subscribe to it because, uh, huh? Because you're in it. You're in it. You're on the video. I like it. That's all that matters. I like it with my besties in my videos. Well, you're more of a daughter than a bestie. I raised you behind. I watched you grow up. All right. Sorry you was late to the party, Allie. Yep, yeah, we have to go. I got to go by the hardware store and pick up some more paint stuff. Look, there's a bass right there. There's a bass right there. About a pound. Like about a pound.
Huh? He could have got his fish out of water. Hey, right, he could have flipped that fish on the bank with that rod, and that them them hooks weren't gonna come out. All right. All right, it's time to go back to work. All right, well, that's the end of the video. Y'all say, what's up? I caught a fish. Later, Gators. Yeah, about time you caught a fish. <laughs> Kill him, Nick. Don't let the arm beat you up too bad over the weekend. That's our National Guard, National Guard hero right there. Gonna get deployed in, in January. Where are you going in January? Don't know yet. Wherever he's going, he's going to kick them good. All right. We'll see y'all on the next one. Like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.